Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Delaney and today I am going to tackle a very large portion of my makeup collection. I have done a few videos so far about my makeup collection and this category is by far the biggest and it probably will take the longest amount of time. So don't get scared if this video is longer than usual. Um, I may even do this in two parts, just depending on how much footage I have, how long it seems to be taking. Uh, if I can't cut it down to a reasonable length, then I will make this video two parts. And yeah, you'll see in the title if it's a part one or part two. So that's how you'll know. <laughs> but anyway, so I am going to tackle my eyeshadow collection today. And there are a lot of eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes in my collection. I'm not going to do loose shadows, um, I'm just going to do palettes because there are plenty in that category already and adding all of the loose shadows on top of that, it just would be really, really long and take forever. Um, so the loose shadows will probably be in a different segment and also I will not be including my liquid shadows, like the liquid glitter shadows that I have. I will not be putting that in this video either because <laughs> it's a lot. So trying to keep this video pretty short, let's uh, cut this intro and if you are interested in seeing what my makeup collection is like with my eyeshadow palettes and which ones I have, how many I have, it's a lot. If you're interested in eyeshadow in general, which I know a lot of people love palettes, if you're like me who I watched beauty YouTube and I primarily watched it for palette reviews and to figure out whether or not I wanted to buy a palette. So I won't be doing super intense detailed reviews about each just because of time purposes, but I will say briefly what I think about the palette and I might throw in the price range. I'm not going to look up the prices of each one. I trust you can look that up yourself. but. Let's get on with it and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and yeah, let's get into it. Also, if you're interested in the makeup that I have on today, I will be putting the details in the description box, but I did want to quickly shout out this indie brand because I really am loving, because I really want to shout out this indie brand because I really am loving what I got from them. So I, re well, so I purchased from Kaima Cosmetics and I had never heard of the brand before, saw them on Instagram, but I found that they had diamond dust pigments. And so I am wearing Dreamcatcher on my eye today. They are duochrome. So this one is like a green to pink and I'm wearing it on my eyes today. It's super glittery and I love the shift that it has. So I just wanted to shout them out real quick, but let's get on with the video. <laughs> Okay, everyone so I kind of to make this a little bit easier I've separated my eyeshadow palettes by brand just so I can go through them a little bit faster and also I just have this flipped over so that I have an easy place to kind of show the palette um, but clearly I have a lot to get through so let's get into it also I have some that are actually on display right now so I'll get to those probably towards the end of the video maybe it might be part two just depending on how long this goes so Let's jump right in. All right, first, I'm going to start off with a bang. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever. I mean, down to aesthetics, to color schemes, to formula, and most importantly enough, the shimmer formulas are amazing in, this, in these palettes. And there are five of them. Ooh, you hear my dog in the background? Um, so, these palettes are the Kaleidos or Kaleidos palettes. So this is Futurism 1, uh, the Sci-Fi Green, and I'll open it up to show you. Whoop. So this is the color scheme for that one, and it's very grungy and dark and earthy tones. I love it. I love this mustard yellow. It's very unique in my collection. Plus, I love these greens and golds combination. Uh, I I especially just love that in the summertime. Oop. <laughs> I especially love that combination in the summertime. Uh, so I'm really loving this palette right now. Also, it can be kind of converted to be used for the winter as well. Uh, you can kind of deepen it up with the black that's given in here. And this is such a deep shade of black. I mean, like that is just 
pitch black for an eyeshadow and I love that. So let me turn on the flash real quick. These shimmers are just, oh my god, one swipe on the finger and they are super pigmented and foiled looking. And some of the other palettes have more glittery shades in them, which I will show you, but just overall so stunning. So this is Futurism 1 and this is the, I think, Astral Green? Let's see. Sci-Fi Green, sorry. This is Futurism 1 Sci-Fi Green. And it comes with a little thing in there that shows you the shade names. So I'm going to go through the next ones pretty quick just to show you the color schemes. This is Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. Here we are. Lift that up for a second. Yeah, this one's definitely the most neutral of all of them. Be super beautiful. The silver in the middle is probably the most used shade from this palette for me. It's, oh, it's so gorgeous. This one is my all-time favorite favorite Kaleidos palette just because the color scheme sorry this is the astro pink futurism 3 and also can we just talk about these like this outer packaging is just so gorgeous it's super marbled it looks like paint pouring which is oh I love that I love watching paint pouring on tiktok if anybody else does let me know but yeah it kind of matches my nails there that shade there is very similar I love this it's on the pinky neutral side so you can kind of deepen up the outer edge with this magenta shade here you can put this shimmer on the uh, on the lid and this blue shade is absolutely stunning i mean i i don't use it super super often just because of the color that it is it's not suit it's not very neutral so i can't wear it every day but oh god it's so pretty and this black if you're gonna do a smoky eye with just this black oh my god that, i need to try that because that would be super beautiful but yeah, I usually stick to this end. So I usually do, this is a transition shade. I go in, deepen it up a little bit on the outer corner with this shade. And then sometimes I'll even deepen it further with this pink right here. And then I will put this on the lid. Super foil, super metallic and gorgeous. So that is my all time favorite Kaleidos palette that I have in my collections so far. They have come out with a new palette um, and I'm thinking about getting it, but I have not bit the bullet on that yet. But I mean, the, the formula of these is just so amazing. I kind of want to collect them. Um, so this is the Futurism 4, the VR Neon palette. This one is definitely the most bright palette I have in my collection. I mean, these colors are so gorgeous. You can do such an amazing look with these. And I have done a few of them, but I really want to dive a little more into it. And especially I want to do a look with this pink right here. This like bright Barbie pink with glitter in it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, and the blue, it has like blue reflect a little bit in there. Blue and silver with the pink. And then this orange is just so summery and citrusy. And oh, I love it. And the last of the Kaleidos palettes is the Futurism 5 Electric Turquoise. It's kind of hard to see with the packaging. This is the only one that has that kind of holographic looking packaging. The others are kind of a soft matte feel. And this one's more of a slick, plasticky feel, but I still really love it. I think it's super unique. So this is the color scheme on the inside. Blue and orange goes so beautifully together. This shade right here is probably the second most used shade out of all of my Kaleidos palettes. It's just, you can put it on top of anything. I mean, it just is, it's more of a topper shade, but it just beefs up any kind of look. It's so gorgeous. I actually have to use that more. <laughs> I've kind of forgot about it a little bit because I have so much eyeshadow, but I'm gonna have to dip into that again. Also, this blue shade is unsurpassed. I mean, this rivals Pat McGrath formula easily. And it's actually softer and more creamy than the Pat McGrath shimmers, I feel. It's just so, so beautiful. I mean, I actually don't know which is my favorite shimmer formula, Pat McGrath or Kaleidos, so. This is all of them. Let me close this up real quick. So this is all of the Kaleidos palettes. All right, next up, because I have it right here, is the only palette that I have by Dominique Cosmetics. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Let me scoot this forward a little bit. I got this in a BoxyCharm, and I don't use it too, too much, but I still like the formula, but I have not gone out to, I have not gone out to purchase other Dominique Cosmetics palettes just yet, because I don't feel like I need any more eyeshadow palettes right now but they're super super pigmented the shimmers are beautiful 
this shade right here oh my god eternal light it's so so pretty it's definitely more of a topper shade but beautiful and these colors are super pigmented and beautiful this is kind of like a pinky orange shifty kind of shade which is so pretty and i'm really happy to have gotten this in a boxy charm because otherwise i would never have tried dominique cosmetics formula so i am very grateful for that and yeah it's a beautiful palette all right i know i have a lot of palettes so i'm going to kind of try to go quicker because I already can feel myself like saying too much at once. I will do eventual videos that go more in depth about maybe different brands, eyeshadow palettes in general, but let's keep on trucking. So this is probably one of the first palettes that I've ever got when I started my makeup journey. This is the Morphe James Charles palette. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog in the background. He's just doing him. Just leave him alone. <laughs> but uh, this is the Morphe James Charles palette. I actually got this on the restock because I was not into makeup at the time that this launched, surprisingly. And I was just starting to get into makeup when I saw this and I tried to order it. It was out of stock. And then one day it just came back in stock and I was super, super happy about it. And I ordered this and I use this for so many looks. Like, if you look back on my early Instagram, this is probably in 90% of the early ones. This, it just has every color you need. And being someone who was new to the eyeshadow game, the formula was really good. I still really love this shade face right here as a highlight. I love that shade. I wish I could just, I might, I might just pan that and use it as a highlight. Um, and this white shade is really good for setting a lid. And it does have some beautiful transition shades in here, but sadly, I don't reach into this anymore. It's just too big and bulky, and I have so many others to choose from that I like the formula better. And yeah, but I, I did get a lot of good use out of this, and I still love to keep it in my collection. All right, so next I'm going to do Dose of Colors. So the first one is one I got in BoxyCharm. I'm not going to say too much about this because I really haven't used this palette. I haven't touched it, but pretty neutral but 100% of the reason that I haven't touched this is this layout I hate it I hate 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 this okay beautiful shades whatever neutral great but I cannot deal with this messiness cannot deal with that so I love Dose of Colors formula but I just can't get on with that and then this is the Sassy Sienna's eyeshadow palette which I also got in a boxy charm and here's the color scheme on the inside I usually keep to the more neutral side just because these are a little bit bright, but I still really love this formula. Very pigmented, just not something I reach for every day, but I still enjoyed it. And I'm very happy to have gotten it in a boxy charm. And now to the one that I use most. This is the Daisy and Katie uh, Friendcation palette. I, for, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's the Friendcation. Let's see if it says it on the back. Yeah, Desi and Katie Friendcation palette. And this packaging is just so gorgeous and sparkly and gold and oh, I love it. And then these shimmer shades are so beautiful. I use these two most and then I will occasionally dip into these. This blue shade is kind of like a duochrome. It goes from blue to a deeper purple. And oh my God, it's just so pretty. I actually really do love this greenish gold. I'm a sucker for some green golds, y'all. So whenever I see that in a palette, I'm here for it. <laughs> and I actually really do enjoy their formula. So this is a great palette. I got a lot of good use out of this. I do have a lot of shadows that I use more now, but still really highly recommend this palette. And the packaging, yes. <laughs> Hi, hello, sir. What you doing? What are you doing? Your, your ears flipped. There you go. All right. Can we not, sir? Okay. So next up is Hank and Henry, which uh, keeping with the BoxyCharm theme, I got this palette in BoxyCharm as well. A lot of palettes I actually did receive because usually we receive a palette in BoxyCharm at least a couple months out of the year. Um, but this is the Hank and Henry Living in Color palette. All right. I am back. So you'll probably hear my dog barking in the background because he wanted to step in all of the eyeshadows and I would not let him and he was not happy about that. <laughs> so he is in his little playpen right now and he wants to come in here. <laughs> so you'll hear lots of barking. But this is the Hank and Henry Living in Color eyeshadow palette. This is really bulky unnecessarily. The colors are pretty. 
haven't gotten much use out of it. This shade right here is really interesting, but they didn't swatch the best on me, so I haven't really been, I haven't used this on my eyes yet. Um, so yeah, this one's just kind of been sitting here. Um, but the one that I do use by Hank and Henry is this one right here, and this is Miss Red Carpet Luster Lights. So it's the, it has this loose pigment on the bottom that's really gold and sparkly, and then it has two shadows on top. So it has this one right here, which is a matte brown, and then this shimmer shade right here, which is so pretty as a highlight, or on the lid. So this is super, super messy, but you'll see the beautiful reflex in here. So this is a loose pigment that you can put directly on your eyelids and whatnot. It's just super glittery and pretty. Yeah, I don't wanna make it too much of a mess. I already see glitter on here, so I'm gonna close that. But I actually really do get use out of this Hank and Henry one. I like the formula of the two shadows on top, and I love that loose pigment. <sighs> you can see all the glitter that just came out of that. <laughs> Yikes. All right, so. This one I got early on in my makeup career. Uh, this is Violet Voss Le Macaron. I love macarons, so I had to get this. Also, I did an art piece on my arm with eyeliner and these shades and made like a drawing of macarons, which is still one of the favorite things that I've done so far. You can see that if you go back on my Instagram, but it's all shimmers and they're really gorgeous. I love the formula, but I don't get as much of a use out of this anymore just because this was great when I had just the James Charles palette and that was mostly matte and then this one was a great sister palette to that but now that I have other palettes with shimmers already in them I like to do a look with just a palette or maybe two palettes but smaller palettes so yeah this is beautiful still love it but doesn't get used as much and then the Violet Voss Essentials palette this I got in a BoxyCharm and I used this a lot. Um, this I actually got more use out of than I thought I was going to. These colors are just gorgeous. This green shade especially I use so often. It's crazy. I don't get why. I normally don't use green shades that much but for some reason this one just is so beautiful. Also my birthstone is an emerald so love that. <laughs> Uh, great transition shades. You can choose between a pinkier look or a more warm toned, neutral, orangey look. Love it. Or that green smoky look. Just great travel palette too. And it really is essential. <laughs> I know that's kind of cheesy, but it's definitely an essentials palette. <sighs> All right, moving on. So this was also one of the first palettes that I got because it was so affordable and there were so many colors to choose from. So this is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. It's not my favorite formula at all, but for the time, it worked really well. It's very powdery, takes a lot to build, but still gives you a lot of colors and a lot to work with for very cheap. And you get black and white. Uh, this is like a warm tone white. This is more coolish, cooler tone greenish white and their shimmer shades. So and then you have a mix of matte and shimmer in here, which is also nice. But yeah, so I don't get much use out of it anymore, but I used to. This one, got in a boxy charm, Ace Beauté Scarlet Dusk palette. Have not touched it. Can't say much about it. It's a warm tone palette, kind of pinky, kind of orangey. That's all I could say about that. <laughs> um, this one, I used kind of, I've used it like once or twice, but again, it was so affordable. I'm, I'm not, I'm not really sad about it, but it actually is beautiful. These shimmer shades are gorgeous, very cool toned, neutrally with a little bit of warm tone, like pinky shades in there. Lots of shimmers to choose from. Really enjoyed that. Very affordable. All right. As far as affordable palettes go, Juvia's Place has such a beautiful formula. I love the artwork on the front. And you can get these at such a good price. I mean, just go on their website. They're usually always having a sale. This is the Warrior Palette by Juvia's Place. I use this so much. It is a perfect neutral palette. And they're such big pans for the money that you pay. I mean, oh, so beautiful. So some of these shimmers are a little bit deep for me. So I don't usually wear something as dark as this on my lid. But I still love it and I still can make it work. Um, but these shades right here, so gorgeous. The, the This gold shade right here, I love. 
and you can kind of set your lid with this shade or for me for me and my skin tone i can set my lid with this shade then i can go in with this one and then deepen it up with this one and then add a shimmer which i love that in a palette i love that i can see the formula that i need to make a great eye look so love that oh my back is starting to hurt i'm sitting on the floor for too long all right moving to high end i i do I have any more drugstore? Yes. Well, kind of I do. Okay. So this is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Fantasine palette. Beautiful. I love the packaging. The formula on these. Marc Jacobs has one of my favorite formulas. And I feel like they don't get talked about as much for the eyeshadow. I love it. I mean, this color scheme, soft glam goals. So beautiful. They always have a mix of mattes and uh, shimmer shades in there, and also like different shimmer shades. Some of them are more satiny, some of them are more metallic. There's a nice variety in there. I love it. And this packaging is so unique and beautiful. Um, the, so they're normally black, like solid black, but both of these are limited edition, I think. This one is the Electric Palette by Marc Jacobs, and this packaging is probably my favorite thing ever. It's like the glitters on the inside of the plastic, like it will not come off. And it's super smooth and glittery and reflective. And it has a little pink knob. I have the highlighter that goes with this uh, collection as well. And I, this is my most used Marc Jacobs palette, but also one of my most used palettes in my collection. So super neutral, but also cool toned. And these shimmers are just awesome. <laughs> and I love that there's a black in here to deepen up any look. So yeah, highly, highly recommend Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. I really want to get more of those eventually you know when i start using more of my palettes up because i have a lot right now i don't need to get by any more right now okay so drugstore palettes have not used these yet so i cannot i only swatch them i have not used these on my eyes yet so i can't tell you what i think of the palette yet but these are super cute they're three dollars each and the color stories are beautiful so i am very excited to try these out all right, ColourPop. <laughs> Let's get ColourPop out of the way real quick because I have a lot of them. I will go through these quickly just to say the name of them and show you the shades that are in here. But overall, I recommend all of these palettes from ColourPop because their formula is just amazing. Super affordable. I haven't tried a palette I don't like, so let me just show you the ones I have real quick. So I have Fame. I think this was limited edition, but if you can find this on Poshmark, Mercari, any of those sites, I highly recommend this is my probably most used palette ever in my entire collection. And it was so super, super cheap, just gorgeous. I mean, if I don't know what to do with an eye look, this is it, honestly, it's, oh, it's so pretty. All right, so we have Sweet Talk. Everyone has probably heard of Sweet Talk. Beautiful, it has a super shock shadow in it. It does have pressed glitters, which I'm not a huge fan of the pressed glitters but every other shade in here, gorgeous. And the pressed glitters are actually pretty. They're just really chunky and I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, but yes, Sweet Talk palette, amazing. Misunderstood palette is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes. This one and uh, the Fame one are probably my favorites, but so gorgeous. This is the Disney Villains uh, collection palette. I love how unique the shades are in here are. And I love that there are actually only two really neutral mattes um and then you know the white to kind of set the lid or blend out colors and then mostly shimmers and i actually really enjoy those shimmer formulas so then we have the zodiac kathleen lights and color pop love kathleen lights love this packaging i'm a taurus what up <laughs> uh but the taurus shade in here of course is a neutral matte which is fine i get it <laughs> But Pisces, this shade is my favorite color pop shadow. It is so bright and neon and gorgeous and just really amps up anything you do with it. If you do a light blue look, this is what you need. This and the Kaleidos are very... The Kaleidos still takes the cake with the shimmers, but this one is very close for very cheap. So, beautiful palette. Now, these two, well, let me show you this one first. So, yes, please, probably the oldest palette from ColourPop that I own. 
and she's gorgeous she's very used i do not like this packaging because it got dirty so quick but beautiful shimmers beautiful mattes love the formula and now i have the two um, nine pans so i have the it's my pleasure palette which is the purple um uh, purple one <laughs> the purple nine pan palette from ColourPop. beautiful shimmers mattes are lovely can't say anything bad about that the main squeeze palette I enjoy, but definitely not as much as the it's, it's My Pleasure, just because a lot of these come off looking very similar on the eye, so I wish there was a little bit more variation in there, but super cute. Love the watermelon theme, and yeah, I really do enjoy the It's My Pleasure. All right, I don't think I've talked about this one yet. This is the Fenty Beauty eyeshadow palette. This is the Moroccan Spice palette. Yes, Moroccan Spice. And I got this in a boxy charm. So they actually had a um, they actually had a boxy charm premium box that was Fenty and boxy charm. So this was in it. It was all Fenty beauty products. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Formula, not my favorite. I'm glad I didn't pay full price for this because I would have been disappointed, but the shimmers are really beautiful. Um, they're not as pigmented and punchy as I would like them to be, but they're subtle and pretty, so it is interesting to have, but not one of my favorite palettes. But the packaging is gorgeous. And also, Rihanna, love ya. Oh, okay. So we're about 23 minutes in right now, and I haven't come close to finishing. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to make a part two, but I will try to do as many as I can right now and then stop, but yeah, I'm definitely going to need to split this into two halves. I think everything else that I have is definitely on the higher end, so I did most of my drugstore eyeshadow brands, uh, more affordable stuff, and I threw in some that were more luxury but next, the next episode is gonna be my more high-end makeup. So um, yeah, so let me do Natasha Denona to close out this video and then yeah, then I'll do a part two because I am sitting on the floor and my back is like hunched over, so. All right, so this is the biggest Natasha Denona palette that I have. This is the Sunrise. This is the Sunrise palette, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I've gotten so much use out of it. The shimmers are so beautiful, and I love these yellowy, like, sunflowery shades. Also, the pinks are beautiful, and then you have some neutral shimmers in there as well. Definitely love this palette. Definitely recommend. This was, like, I think the $65 palette uh, that they came out with, and, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And I'm so glad it was at a lesser price tag than the other ones because I was not about to pay $125. Which, you know, I say that, but I've spent $125 on a different palette, which you'll see in the future. But, <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know why I'm saying that because I have paid that before. But this one is my second biggest Natasha Denona palette. And this is the five pan palette, but it is the bigger version. I'll show you the one, the other ones next to it and you'll see the size difference. This is the Coral Palette and it is really beautiful. The This shade right here looks more brown on camera as opposed to it actually is more burgundy kind of shade, maroon shade. Um, but yeah, these two are coming off brown for some reason. I don't know why. But this purple shade is everything. I love this shade. It's so beautiful. And this one right here is a great shade for the lid. Love it. Love it, okay. So here are the mini palettes, and that's the size difference. So this is the coral palette, and this is a mini one. So just so you can see, that's these pans are much bigger, much larger. These are like, I think 40 something dollars, 48, I think, I don't know, I could be wrong. 40 something dollars, and these are 25. So yeah, this is the mini sunset palette. And again, this middle shade, well, actually, no. Yeah, so this is the Mini Sunset palette. I use mostly the shimmers out of this palette. I dip into this occasionally, but you will see my most used one in a second. So the Mini Nude palette. This is my most used Natasha Denona palette. This is the Mini Nude palette from Natasha Denona, and it is, <sighs> this one and Fame, 
are probably my most used palettes out of my collection. Uh, this is my definitely my most used luxury palette. And the fact that it's a mini just makes it even better for traveling. And I, you you can see this indent in here, like that circular indent from my finger being pressed in it all the time. And you can kind of see it on this one too. If I tilt it, you can kind of see the indent from my finger. I will hit pan on this. I know I will. And I probably will hit pan on this one as well, which I never do. Really, I never do. Um, and I will be so happy when I do because I'm going to repurchase this palette. I just know it. I mean, there's never going to be a time when I don't want this in my collection. It's just the perfect go-to palette. All right. Now getting into the more limited edition mini Natasha Denona palettes. This first one I'm going to talk about. It's not my favorite. This uh, shimmer shade right here, this minty one is gorgeous. The other shades did not work for me as well. Um, yeah not my favorite this is the mini tropical palette mini tropic yeah not my fave but still pretty this one the mini gold oh my god this one and the nude palette are just amazing 10 out of 10 no look how big the intent is in that gold shade i told y'all i love the green golds this palette is me i love it I absolutely love this palette. These matte shades, perfect, blend out super beautifully. The shimmer shades, this one in particular, this gold shade is one of the most gold, the most beautiful gold shades ever. It's just super sparkly, super impactful, love it. This one I don't use as much, but it's still a beautiful shade. Here is the mini glam palette. And this is the cool toned version of the mini nude palette, beautiful absolutely beautiful if you want a nude but cool toned eyeshadow look this is gorgeous the only thing i will wish is that this middle shade was compatible or not compatible this middle shade i just wish was kind of like that gold shade in the nude palette it's not the same formula and i wish there was a shimmer here maybe a lighter shimmer that was the same kind of formula as that gold because i love it so much and i wish i had a different shade in that formula and that would make this absolutely perfect, but I really do love this palette anyway. And then finally, I have the newest of the Natasha Denona mini palettes, the mini retro. And this is absolutely stunning. Um, this rosy shade right here, this matte is gorgeous. The shimmers are beautiful. This one though is like a topper. This on top of this is goals. I mean, it's so pretty. And then this shimmer shade is beautiful. It's the darker green I don't really use too too much as a shimmer shade, but I actually and use this shade as like a a crease shade and then this one as a darkening the outer V. And for some reason it really just works beautifully. And then usually I'll do this one on the lid just to add some sparkle. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Alright. So we've gotten through a lot, a good chunk of it today. Um I'm clocking 30 minutes of just talking about eyeshadows, <laughs> uh, so not including my intro right now. So I am going to stop right now, and I'm going to lay down because I'm, my back is killing me from sitting on the floor like this for so long. Um, but yeah, I am done for now. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. So that was part one of my eyeshadow collection. I was not anticipating it to take that long. I kind of uh, underestimated how many eye eyeshadow palettes I have. So in the next episode, which will be part two of my eyeshadow collection, I will put how many eyeshadow palettes I actually have. It's kind of scary. I didn't realize I had that many, but granted, I did get a lot in BoxyCharm and other makeup subscription boxes. So not all of it was, you know, paying retail price. <sighs> a lot of it was, but also I'm obsessed with makeup, so. It is my thing. <laughs> um, and I actually do love most of all of the palettes in my collection. You'll hear what I think of the palettes uh, along with me showing you, so you'll know which ones are not my favorite. But eventually I will do a declutter, but I just wanted to get all of my collection videos up first prior to doing that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed part one of the eyeshadow palette collection uh, so be on the lookout for part two if you would like to to uh be notified when that happens click that little bell thing 
make sure it's just all notifications for this person. I'm technology. <laughs> but yeah, you can be notified when I do post videos. So if you would like to do that, please do. Please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, if you like me, if you like what I do, if you feel like it'd be a fun time, just hit that subscribe button, please. <laughs> Um, and I will be putting all my makeup collection videos in a playlist so you can easily find the other videos and I will be putting my social media down in the description box along with my makeup that I have on my face today. Uh, I think it's real cute. Oh hey, it still looks great even after I've been rambling on for <sighs> forever. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope y'all stay safe out there, stay happy, healthy. And whatnot, eat your vegetables, even though you don't want to, maybe have a glass of wine, relax, just sit back, watch a video or two, go on with your day. <laughs> but I hope all of you are doing great out there. I hope you're taking care of your mental health. Please do that. It's crazy times. Take care of yourself. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube should be suggesting other videos, so if you like this video, go ahead and watch some more. Uh, that would be wonderful. I would love to see other people watching my videos, share it with a friend if you like, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, so that was all I have for today. Keep on the lookout for part two of my eyeshadow collection, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right, bye everyone. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't want to waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't want to waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow Turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go through the wastelands through the high.